Good afternoon, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you guys today. Happy rainy day. I hope you've had a nice snuggly day indoors. Hey, well, although maybe you've played in the rain today, and if you have, I hope you had a great time. Make sure you get all dried off, though, okay? Um, so, I'm so excited to be bringing you another story. It's what we do at Pile. You know, we're Python strong that way. Strong in our minds, strong in our body is strong in our decisions, you know, to make good decisions all the time, right? Which we're human. That's not always a thing. But as long as you're trying your best, then we are always proud of you. I hope you know that. Okay. So before I get started today, I am really excited because I brought home two of our favorite uh, characters. I guess we can call them characters from our pile library. I brought home Mr. Walter and Fergus. And if you don't know them because you don't go to pile, um, they are our guard rats. And so they have a house that one of our students made over there and we decorate their house for different holidays. And we really have a good time with them. Um, so, I hope you like them as well. So just so you know, with the yellow visor, this is Mr. Walter. He's newer. Um, a couple of my good teacher friends gifted him to me this year. Well, not just me, our library, of course. And Fergus has been my trusty guard rat since my first year there. And I just never put him away after Halloween. And everybody loves him. And, well, except Mrs. V. Shout out to Mrs. V if she's watching. So, um, anywho, <laughs> yeah, just ask her all about it. She's a little squeamish about it. Anyway, um, so they will be joining me in my videos every now and again, and you'll get to say hi to them, and maybe I'll dress them up in little costumes and stuff for books that we're reading while well, I'm reading. And uh, it'll be a nice treat. It'll be fun. So get to know Fergus and Walt over here. They'll be here. So anyway, on this very rainy day, although the sun's coming out, which is gorgeous. I love rainy days where the sun comes out. I am going to be reading to you Max the Brave by Ed Veer. And he is quite the brave kitten. So Take a second right now. If you have a cape, friends, go put that cape on. Get ready for the story. Push pause. I'll be here when you push play. It'll be fine. Okay, so take a second. Get that cape out. Tie it on. And get ready to be brave like Max the Brave. Here we go. Bye, Ed Beer. And for story time, I need watching eyes, listening ears, quiet voices, calm bodies, breathe in. Breathe out. And of course, no nose picking, no finger licking. We need to have clean hands to touch our precious books. And I know I haven't said precious books before, but I thought it would be a nice way to give a shout out to room four at Pile because one of the students in there has started adding that to um, my rules for story time. And I love it because as th their teacher says, Books are gold. So shout out to that classroom as well. You know who you are, room for. All right, so here we go. Max the Brave. Got that cape right. Okay, good. Let's do this. This is Max. Doesn't Max look sweet? Max looks so sweet that sometimes people dress him up with bows. Look at his face. Max does not like being dressed up with bows because Max is a fearless kitten. Max is a brave kitten. Max is a kitten who chases mice. Dun, 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 dun. Max the brave just needs to find out what a mouse looks like. And then he will chase it. Maybe mouse is in there. Max bravely explores the can. Mouse, are you in there? Hmm... Mouse isn't here. Oh, hello. Are you Mouse? No, I am Fly, says Fly. But I just saw Mouse scurry by a moment ago. Hmm. Maybe this is what Mouse looks like. Is it? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, right. Excuse me, please. But are you Mouse? I'm not mouse, I am fish, says fish. But I just saw mouse dash outside. Oh, that must be mouse up in that tree. Which is it? Excuse me, please, but are you mouse? 
Tweet, we are not mouse, we are birds, say the birds. But we did see mouse scoop by. Excuse me, would you happen to be mouse? Eek, mouse, I'm not mouse, I'm elephant, says elephant. But I did just see mouse skitter by. Thank you very much, says Max. Did you guys know that elephants are afraid of mice? Give me a thumbs up if you knew. Thumbs down if you didn't know. Oh, interesting. And you? Nope, that away, said the bunny. Hmm. Hello there, are you mouse by any chance? Who, me? No, certainly not. I am monster, squeaks mouse. But I did just see mouse asleep over there. If you're very quick, you might catch him. Thank you very much, says Max. This must be Mouse. Hmm, I didn't know Mouse was so big. Uh -oh. Excuse me, Mouse, will you wake up, please? I am Max the Brave, and I have come to chase you. Wakey, wakey, Mouse! yells Max as he bounces up and down on Monster's head. I am Max the Brave, and I chase mice, and I might just eat you up, too! He's gonna eat that monster? Hmm. I didn't know Mouse had such big teeth. Boom. Decides that chasing mice is not all it's cracked up to be. And anyway, he doesn't need to be Max the Brave all the time. Unless he's out chasing yeah. monsters. <laughs> that mouse tried to trick him and it didn't work, did it, friends? It did not work. So, friends, can you think of a time that you were brave? Maybe you were brave in standing up for yourself or standing up for a friend. Or maybe you just had to make a really fast decision and it was brave for you to do so. You know, sometimes we have to do that. So think about a time that you were brave. Talk about it with mom or dad. And just remember that being brave is one of the most special things you can do because it helps you make really good choices. It really does. So... Friends, that is all I have for you for now, and I will gladly, along with Ferguson Walt, see you for the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.